Hi, it's Molly and welcome back to my channel. Welcome here if it's your first time. Today's video, I don't know, I just wanted to try something new. I had some older makeup that I've been wanting to use and I had some new products that I've been wanting to test out. Very quickly, you can find me on Instagram at Glamorous and on Pinterest at Molly Gardner one And there's always more on the blog at Girl Get Glamorous. Last thing, if you like this video, if you could take a second to give it a thumbs up, that really helps the video. Let's get started with this something old, something new. <laughs> All right, here we go. I like to always start out with an eye primer. Today I'm gonna to be using a mix of powder and cream shadows, and I feel like eye primer helps everything last without creasing. And I'm using the same crease combination from the Foxy Eye video. This is the lighter taupe in my crease. And then I go back in with a medium reddish brown shade and just work that into my crease with a windshield wiper motion. And then I grabbed a little bit more of that reddish brown shade and I'm dabbing it gently into the outer corners of my eyes. I have downturned eyes, so I like to lift them up at the ends. And this Q-tip is saturated with moisturizer. If you are <laughs> panicking right now, thinking that cannot feel good, just to let you know, it is completely saturated with moisturizer. And this is my new favorite technique to clean up the edge of my eyeshadow and give me a really nice, precise shape. The Julep Gel Eyeliner is one of my favorites. And this is the Smoky Taupe shade. I've purchased this, I wanna say four times at this point. And I'm flicking up that outer corner just to lift my eye a little bit more. But this eyeliner I wanted to share because it's so creamy, so smooth, lasts all day, and it is around the same price as a drugstore eyeliner, which completely blows me away because the quality is so good. And I grabbed a little bit more of that medium brown shade on a pencil brush now, and I'm just using that to blend the liner in with the rest of my eye look, going underneath my eyes as well to get a little bit of color and depth at that lower lash line. And I'm using the pencil brush to blend that shadow in with my crease as well. This is the cream shadow that I'm using today. It is Marie Antoinette from Charlotte Tilbury, and it's one of those colors that looks so good on everyone. I mean, it is just a real knockout. And I, I wanna add, I'm using a e.l.f. fluffy brush to apply this, but you can also apply this with your fingers and blend. I just did not feel like washing my hands for the zillionth time <laughs> to apply it and then washing them again afterwards. And now I'm flipping the brush over and using the clean side to blend the edge of that eyeshadow in with the powder. I think this is just, oh, I love this shade. Look at it, it's so pretty. And this mini smudge brush from Morphe, I'm dipping that into the cream shadow as well and then using this small smudge brush to get it right in between my lashes on the lower lash. This is one of those things that makes your eyes sparkle, but it's really subtle. It doesn't look like a heavy liner on the lower edge at all. It's really, really pretty. The other great thing about this smudge brush is because of the tiny size, you can get right in at that inner corner if you want to blend or apply any more cream shadow. And now I'm grabbing a larger crease brush and just using that to buff out the edges of that eyeshadow so it's really seamless. I also grabbed a pencil brush just to blend the powder and cream on the bottom. Okay, this is a new foundation that I am pumped about. This is the Bite Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation, and this is shade 35, light with a peach undertone, which initially looks a little bit dark, and it looks like it's not going to be the best match on me, but it's interesting. This foundation, I feel like once you start blending it, it either just blends really perfectly or the shade adjusts because Every time I've worn it, I've started out thinking, I don't know. And then by the time it's done, it just looks like my skin and it looks so beautiful. And the color just ends up being a flawless match. I'm going to add a little bit more just because this is a more sheer formula. And what I like about it is that it does build really nicely without getting cakey at all. And by the way, I am applying it with an It Cosmetics foundation brush. So this formula has really taking me by surprise. I think this is a wonderful everyday foundation because it's not super heavy, but has great coverage, feels really lightweight. The ingredients are great for your skin. 
And I just feel like this is kind of the perfect everyday foundation for somebody who wants a healthier foundation to be wearing on their skin. By the way, sorry about this black mirror. <laughs> I'm definitely, I just picked it up so I could have a bigger mirror to do my makeup on. And wow, I've really got to learn to get it out of the camera frame. This is another new product. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Creamy Concealer in shade 1N. And this is a wonderful light reflecting product. So it's not going to be a heavy heavy pigment or coverage concealer. This is a light diffusing concealer, which means that it will look great on camera, in a flash photo, that sort of thing. And I do think in person it looks completely seamless. This is the Hourglass palette that I purchased around the holidays. It's getting so much use. I did not even expect to be using it this much. I've started using the diffused light powders uh, for my under eye when I'm using a light reflecting concealer and I really have loved how it's looking on my under eye. I still love the Hourglass Veil. I have just been using this one lately. This is the Ilia Color Haze in shade Temptation and this is a multi-use pigment for cheeks and lips and I'm just grabbing a clean stipple brush from IT Cosmetics to get that blended into my skin. This shade is just spring. It's so bright, it's so beautiful. Again, with the mirror, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, but I wanted, I just love this product. I think it looks like your skin, it's really pretty. I feel like it brightens up the whole look of my face and looks really natural. Another new product, woohoo! <laughs> this is the CoverGirl Micro Brow Pencil and the shade is Honey Brown. This is the closest shade match I've found to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Caramel. I feel like as a strawberry blonde, it's really hard to find a great brow match. And the ABH Caramel Brow Wiz is a great one, but it is a pricier option. And so I've been trying to find a drugstore dupe for what feels like forever. And I feel like this is a great color match. I feel like it looks really natural. It's easy to use. It wasn't too creamy, but it also wasn't so stiff of a product that it was hard to get product onto my eyebrows. I just felt like it looked really natural and I was really happy with it. I have been doing a new brow method as well where I fill in and almost straighten out the bottom of my brows first and then I go back in and fill in the upper part of the arch and yeah that's kind of everything I have to say about the CoverGirl I really like it I think it's a great price point I think it's a great product this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in ash brown and the brow gal brow brush which is the skinniest and most precise brow brush that I've found it's really really wonderful so if you do have some bald areas like me, I'm a little bit bald at the front of my brows still, I will add in just a few hair-like strokes. And this is a $2 e.l.f. eyebrow setting gel that I found that I really like. It really locks it all in. Back to the Hourglass palette. I'm telling you, this palette has saved me on so many mornings or days when I'm in a rush doing my makeup. This bronzer is really beautiful. It's a mature skin favorite of mine because it's so natural looking. And typically I would push the bronzer a little bit more back into my hairline, but today I did not feel like messing up my hair. <laughs> so it went a little bit more horizontal than normal. This is the e.l.f. stipple brush number 105 that I absolutely adore. I probably use it every single day I'm doing makeup. And I wanted to share it because I feel like I never talk about it. This is the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara that I use, I feel like, in every video now. <laughs> but I have to say, I'm not even a clean beauty junkie. I'm not a person that seeks out necessarily clean beauty, even though I probably should be. But this mascara just continually blows me away. The brush is a favorite. It has two different sides, and it's just easy to use and comb through your lashes. The formula is easy to wear. It's gentle on my eyes. My eyes never water, they don't run. The mascara doesn't flake, it stays on all day. I have no idea how they did it, but it is such an amazing mascara and I have repeatedly begged for it in brown. <laughs> so fingers crossed, it is just a wonderful product. And I'm doing a little setting spray all over and then a little bit into a beauty blender to really set that foundation. 
I'm just grabbing a little bit of powder from Kogando to set my T-zone and around my nose. This is a new lip pencil from L'Oreal from their Age Perfect line that I'm really liking. I feel like it stays on all day and looks really great. And I'm grabbing a little bit more of that Ilia pigment for my lip color. And we're finished. Here's the finished look. I love this. This came together really nicely, I think. I just think everything looks really soft and fresh. So let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you like this color combination. Thank you for being here with me and I will see you in the next video. Okay.